Here's SAC 116 number 1. Uh, if you haven't already read the problem, you might want to pause this uh, wind cam and take a read. Um, we've got Puck over here moving in a circular path. Here's the Puck and the blue curve represents the circular path. It's uh, tied by a string to an axis at the center and it's moving around the circle with a velocity I'll name it V given as 2.20 meters per second. Puck's mass is given as 0.425 kilograms and the radius of the circle on which the puck moves is given as 0 0.850 meters. Yeah, and of course we're supposed to find the tension in the string. This is a top view. I want to look at an edge-on view. In fact, we'll view it from right here. And draw a free body diagram of the puck from that point of view. So uh, we're looking at it. Uh, from behind essentially and we're at puck level looking at it um, it's just so that I can get these uh, forces on there all the forces even the ones that aren't a real part of the problem this will be the the weight of the puck just for a complete free body diagram and that's what we're drawing here a free body diagram there's the normal force and then from that point of view toward the center of the circle we've got the tension and that's what's creating the acceleration in that direction the centripetal acceleration which is uh, given by V squared over R so we've got all that and uh, let's go ahead and apply Newton's second law. We got the sum of the forces I'm going to choose in the toward the center of the circle. So working off of this free body diagram is equal to the mass times the acceleration in that same direction. Well the only force acted in that direction is tension. Neither the weight nor the normal force has any component in the horizontal direction. And uh, we just got T is equal to M A where A is the centripetal acceleration, the centripetal acceleration V squared over R and at this point it's just a, a plug-in. Uh, we got uh, 0.425 kilograms for the mass of the puck. I do have room for that. 0.425 kilograms. We're given the velocity is 2.20 meters per second. Got to square that. And the radius of the circle is given as 0 0.850 meters. Substitute those values into the calculator and evaluate. And that come out with the tension in the string being 2.42 newtons. And that's the answer to problem.